Today I'm going to demonstrate PC Mover Windows Store Edition. This is a subset of our main PC Mover product and it's mainly used for Windows that is in S mode. Windows 10 in S mode is a more limited lockdown version of the Windows operating system. In S mode, you can only install apps from the store and you can only browse the web with Microsoft Edge. There's also other limitations like having the ability to open up command shell or the registry or all these things are very limited. So the product PC Mover for Windows S mode is somewhat limited in that it can only do files and settings or just files, sorry. So let me go ahead and start the demo. I will run PC Mover on two different VMs that I have set up. And you'll see the first thing that comes up is a warning explaining Windows S mode. This warning will only show up on machines that happen to be uh, running in Windows S mode. Otherwise, it'll go on with its normal operation. As such, when you first run the product, there's the ability to run um, free. Uh, this is without buying PC Mover regular, uh, but you can you run the free mode and transfer up to 500 megabytes of files. So the first thing, very much like our, our standard product, is you run PC Mover on both machines, which I've already started, and it'll attempt to find another machine on the network. In this case, it has found the other machine one that's in this VM. And different from our normal PC Mover product, you'll have to go through and pick the files that you want to transfer, or actually in this case, folders. Due to the limitation of running in Windows S mode, you actually have to pick the folders themselves. Uh, there is no way to automatically determine the location of just the pictures folder, or the music, or the videos, and the documents. So in the product, we bring that out in order to make it very convenient for somebody to, to pick the folders. When you go to pick the folder, we give an explanation on exactly what to do and how to pick it. So in this case, the pictures folder, we're showing them that on the next screen, you'll have that option to pick the actual pictures folder. And so we'll go over here and pick pictures folder. You'll see it'll go through and calculate how many pictures are, are actually in that folder and how much data is going to transfer. I'll do similar with music. Videos. and documents. Once this is done and you click next, everything goes over to what would be the new computer. You'll see over in this VM, if the data that you're going to transfer is over 500 megabytes in length, it'll actually give you the option to enter in the serial number and um, transfer all the data. If not, it will only transfer 500 megabytes of files. So similar to the other side, you have to pick where these files and folders are going to go. So again, I'll pick the pictures folder. I'll pick the music folder. I'll pick the videos folder, and then finally the documents folder. Now you don't have to pick every uh, one of these categories. If on the old computer, for instance, you only pick the pictures folder, then on this side, the receiving side, the new computer, you would only see this option. These other ones would be grayed out. So now once I click next, the actual transfer will start. At this point, I'll pause as you can see it's starting to do its, its transfer and I won't let you won't make you have to sit through the whole transfer of data so I'll pause until it's near the end as you can see we're just about done with our transfer it, it's doing the remaining of the documents folder
few seconds remaining, and you'll see both computers will go to the finished screen. And there you have it. At this point, the files have been transferred from the old computer to the new computer. Thank you very much.